Today I'm painting Haster from Cthulhu's Death May Die. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. I am because you're watching my video. We start off by priming and Zenithal highlighting this miniature uh, with some matte black and some matte white from Army Painter. I did that because I wanted to get the bottom part a little bit darker since that's what his tentacles look like. First of all, we start off with some cobalt skin and this is from the Army Painter. Uh, this is going to be for the little uh, amount of skin that he does have on him, this spooky looking thing inside of this weird utter thing. Anyway, so this is from a game called Cthulhu Death May Die, which is from Simon Games. Uh, it's the investigators trying to get the Elder One, which is what Haster is, out of the picture. We're moving on to some demonic yellow from the Army Painter, and this is for all his robes. Now this is a pretty simple model to paint because there's not much color to him, but this robe was kind of hard because like we had to figure out what was robes and what was like tentacles and stuff like that, so there's a little bit of a challenge there, but it's not too too bad, especially now with the zenithal highlighting, it actually gives out the um, details pretty well. Now I did water down the demonic uh, yellow a bit just so that I would cover a bit more, and uh, so that I would get the you know the, the darkness coming out where it was darker and lighter where it was lighter and uh, I do cover it up with a second coat after just to make sure I get it because people told me oh you put on too thick of paint you're losing some of the details which I never noticed before I found that my, I, my details were always still there no matter how thick because I always went back over spots that I found were too thick and losing some details to push it over to the rest of the spots anyways let me know down below what you think my methods are if they're good or not and uh, so yeah, so this is an interesting model. He has some disciples, which I will paint eventually, uh, just to finish off like his section of the game. Uh, so the point of the game is to either uh, get the Elder One to uh, disturb the ritual and bring the Elder One into the world so that you can destroy him and bring peace to the world again, but you do this by getting crazier and having a little bit more powers and stuff, so it's kind of cool. Very good game. Uh, it's best played at least two players, because uh, one player is very tough to play, uh, because at least then you can separate the tasks or go around and you know destroy the people around. Because this game doesn't have a one-player mode. It doesn't get easier with one player. Uh, sometimes you just have less lives and stuff, but it's still a pretty tough game to play. And also, if you feel like donating to my page for one time, you can check out my Ko-fi page. And it's for $3 uh, Canadian. And you can support me uh, in any way you want. I also, uh, you can also subscribe to me on a monthly payment plan on Patreon. I'm now there. Uh, very cheap. I'm looking for just a little bit of extra cash here to be able to buy uh, some extra recording equipment and uh, future games as well. I'd like to be able to buy games and unbox them, especially on Kickstarter. But that costs a lot of money and uh, the bank doesn't always agree. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the videos, guys. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and that little notification bell as well, just so that you know when I post new videos. Alright, so we're going to move on to a D&D's Marvelous Pigments paint, which is a unique paint, which is the Succubus Red. And this is for these little globe thingy looking weird blobs of red things near the bottom of his body.
All right, moving on to some Warlock Purple, and this is just for the uh, veins that are on those little red bulbs, just to highlight them before putting on the wash. All right, we're moving on to some hardened carapace, which is an army paint or war paint. And this is for all these like little teeth or whatever that are coming out of all these open mouths on the bottom of this miniature. I don't even know what to call this thing. All right, now we're gonna be using a quick shade wash of soft tone from the Iron Painter. And this is gonna go over the yellow robes just to give it a dirtier, browner look, just like in the artwork. And it gets really well into the recesses. You let that dry and it comes out looking really nice. All right, we're moving away from Iron Painter stuff and using Recklin Flesh Shade from Citadel Shade. And this is just for that skin and those red balls. I just picked this up, but I wanted to see how it came out. It dries really nicely, by the way. And now for the rest of the model, we're going to be using some dark tone. This is going to go over all the tentacles, all the bottom part of this miniature because it's pretty much blackish dark color and when it dries up it comes out looking really nice has some natural highlights it's a really interesting miniature to paint it was fun to paint though and uh, eventually i'll be moving on to other ones from this game again it's from cthulhu's death may die take a look at that it's a really interesting game beautiful miniatures of course from simon you can't expect anything less Alright, so Haster is all painted up, now he's just going to dry and you'll see what he looks like. And I want to thank you all for watching, have a good day, and get your miniatures to the table.